So namaste everyone. Welcome to the morning session. Today we are going to listen from Sopan Chiranabhaya. So uh, he is a director of Students Welfare, BCT Group of Institutions, Guthiana. And he did his uh, first introductory UHP FTP online in May 2020. He is participating in students' workshop as an effective volunteer. And if you can see, he is one of the very consistent participants in this morning session, starting from the second batch onwards, asking many questions, helping all of us to self-develop. So with this very brief introduction, I welcome Sopan Chinana Bhaiya for his sharing in this morning session. Bhaiya, over to you now. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Sunil Bhaiya, for nice introduction. Uh, namaste to all. Uh, just I will add few points from, from my side. So, my name is Swapan Channa and I'm living in Ludhiana. I'm born and brought up in Ludhiana only, Punjab. And then uh, in my family, my uh, wife, uh, Prabha is there. She is teaching in a school. Then I have two children, the name Yashvi and Uday. Yeah, Yashvi is 17 year old preparing for uh, NEET exam and Uday is 16 year old in plus one and he's preparing for uh, JE. And then my mother is there who is now 82 years old. And then there's a, uh, my brother living with uh, his family in Dhyana only. And then my younger sister is there. Uh, she is in Australia, settled with her family there. And if you talk about uh, uh, my profession, I am in teaching. I've been teaching in this PCT group of Institutes Ludhiana for last 25 years in the Department of Business Management. And now additionally, I have a responsibility of student welfare also. Now, if you ask me the journey about UHV, as uh, Sunil Bhaiya mentioned that I started with online, but before that, I came to I came across this um, uh, UHV uh, means uh, well before that. But seriously, I started doing it during the Corona period, as most of us have done it. Uh, so now we'll come to exercise uh, one first of all. So. We just try. Yes. Uh, the first point I think is very important. Uh, observing your imagination. Uh, am I hundred percent? I mean, am I clear about this? That uh, I'm feeling thought and expectation. Uh, hundred percent. I am able to see them uh, distinctly. I'm not sure. But then I can always make it out that. Uh, what is my status right now? Uh, and then I think the first step and the fifth step uh, means then I try to find out that, okay, if there is some anxiety in me or some there's a feeling of opposition in me, so what is the reason behind that? Means what is the sanskar behind it? And then I can see my state also, whether I'm happy or unhappy. Uh, then sometimes I feel that it is coming to my even body also in the form of headache if I'm doing a lot of overthinking. Like for example, like uh, before, even right now, before my this sharing, I could see that there is some anxiety in me. Uh, and then I was trying to find out what is the reason for this anxiety. So still I feel that there is a some scar of uh, means uh, whether I will be doing my sharing properly or not. And then uh, I can see even the, my breathing, like body, it was coming to my body also, like my breathing is normal or like it is uneven. And even I, means I, I found this when I just did this uh, international conference. I was one of the panelists then I could see there also some anxieties there before we started the first day. 
so in a way when i go to the purpose then 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 i come to know that okay uh, what is the purpose of this uh, sharing or what is the purpose of um, my this panel discussion or participation then if i come to know this that okay this participation is there to uh, whatever i know uh, i am just trying to share with the others and uh, so that uh, i also get benefited by this whether i am means uh, means i whatever i am speaking i mean it also or i am living with it or not and then if somebody means if it will go to the people they will also be benefited so right now also i am trying to see that whether this feeling is there or sometimes i think the old sanskar of that overthinking that how will i do it whether i have spoken it nicely or you can call it maybe the competition so uh, i think it's a very very uh, practical all these steps so then even i uh, i don't know whether i'm doing the analysis or not the analysis of this or what i'm doing that i can see that okay i am responsible when i take the responsibility that is my me who is causing all this and then i can can i see my sanskar so i think this first and fifth step i think are very very important so when i means started uh, means when i went deeply into it and so this is what about the first to uh, fifth step i think they are merging with each other because uh, right now i am not able to see them uh, distinctly but then they all happen together but then when i come to uh, this that okay what is naturally acceptable to me it's a feeling of relationship means i am complementar there's a complementarity between me and uh, others so then i can see even with in my family also uh, uh means my relationships have improved M means if i can see the complementarity and i can see that uh the feeling of harmony and we are um, uh, coexist there is a coexistence and then i always see that okay even uh, i i can see at my fam in my family also if i am interacting with my brother elder brother or my my mother if i go back uh before you actually or before these morning sessions there used to be lot of reaction uh, whenever they say something so i i was not aware of this pre conditioning and all these sanskar so i could not see my sanskar i could not see their sanskar so that made me lot of uh, reaction so so that way i was means again i go to the fifth step that i was living with some assumptions but now when when this morning session as bhaiya told that uh, i am very consistent in attending this so these morning sessions have helped all of us so whenever i can see the relationship uh, with the others then uh, i think uh, uh, relationship means the feeling of trust and respect even in the uh, then then i always respond in a way means uh, even in the class sometimes the student when he disturbs the class if i if i have a trust that okay intention of everyone is same because i am we are teaching also this but then more important is whether i am living with it that is very important so i think the moment i am aware at home also and even at my workplace also uh the feeling of trust i think that's the base of the relationship basis of relationship so it's it's his or her competence that that they are behaving like that so then i always respond and this response these responses are increasing now day by day reactions are decreasing because i can because because i am very well very well aware that what i was and what i am now uh, there was a lot of uh, means lot, used to be lot of reactions and lot of confusions within me before this uhv because we were not aware of this self i think uh, the best take away from exercise 
we all can relate to is this that I came to aware of this. I think the reality of this entity of self, I think means this is the best takeaway for all of us. And when the self is at the center stage, uh, then I always uh, I, I always respond means if I'm aware that I, I am there and I am responsible, this is I am who is doing this all this and and I can see the similarity in the others like the feeling of respect says the similarity. So when I'm teaching that also can then I see that students I can see the similarity or I'm just saying it. So whenever I see the similarity, then I always uh, means do the right evaluation and then I become complementary to others. So this I can see even when the parents uh, or any other my colleague who come sometimes and when they are uh, when they are telling something and if they are in pain sometimes and they say sometimes uh, harsh words also. Uh, can I see that uh, means uh, they have the they also have the potential to understand, but now right now there there may be some preconditioning or assumption about me or my institute that they are saying this. Then then I try to be complimentary uh, and then try to help them uh, so that they also come they also relax. I may not be able to give them the solution what they want, but this uh, exercise one, in a way, is helping me that I can see the complementarity and then my role. What is my participation? Now I means it's in my 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 responsibility. It's my hand that I react or respond. So most of the times I think I'm responding and then even I can see my colleagues are telling me that okay now you have become more stable than earlier and more important is that i, I means it's like in the morning session also even gopal bhaiya say that that i don't want uh, means certificate from the other means whether i am getting means more important is can i able to assess myself every moment that is i think more important and even people are able to see it or not so I think this last sixth and seventh, I'm still working that can I see the harmony in every unit around me? I try to see whenever I go from one, one uh, unit to the other unit, then I try to see the trees around me and the nature. And then I try to see that whether I'm able to see their neatness or I'm just looking at their outer uh, means uh, properties. So this, uh, sixth and seventh step still i'm working with them. the relationship i think is the more more uh, i'm paying attention right now and only that is helping me to be in i can see that i want to be in harmony and other also want to be in harmony and then how can i make myself first of all in harmony and then i can how can i help my students my 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 parents or everyone around me yeah. to be in harmony but 100% I'm aware always, no. But this awareness is increasing day by day. And this morning session, I think, is a, is helping me a lot. So that is why I'm very regular in this. So this is what my um, stake on exercise one. So takeaway from exercise one is this, that I'm aware of self. And then self is at the center stage. So I'm able to see the self always. And then I can see my natural acceptance and then this feeling of relationship. I think I will always respond. So that is increasing day by day, but this is a long journey. Now, if I come to exercise two, uh, yeah. yes, uh, this body concept was always there. If I go back and that created a lot of issues. Uh, I can't share every issue, but then when we were considering that uh, I'm, I'm just a body, then, then always all those anxieties and all those reactions and then 
when it was body centric we were living or means means lot of mistakes we were doing but now i can see that i am there with the help of these all my imagination my activities and when i i was not aware of this word sensation that okay body in body there are sensations happening all this visual, although i was a student of science but uh, i didn't know that okay um, these sensations are helping me to know that the body is there because i think we all can relate to this that most of the times um, before this uhv are I mean attention was outside only or maximum we were trying to see the body also through eyes or like that so this sensation that okay they are coming different sensation and again right now also uh, i i see that sometimes i'm i'm not even aware that the body is there when i'm too much engrossed in this self so even i forget that the body is there i think most of us can relate to this so this shows that uh, self is at the center stage and body is there but then i don't use it that often but earlier i think we were all were uh, all my activities were body centric and then it was bringing lot of issues in the body also and then uh, again i was scared that okay but anything will happen to the body and then this transaction i think experiments uh, we can always do like uh even in the morning uh, i heard means earlier i get up before 5 but then uh uh within two or three alarms are there but today i because i knew that it's my sharing today so uh, as soon as i got the this uh, sensation of alarm first alarm i instructed my body to get up and uh, just so that i am well prepared before this sharing and so many instances i can give that few days back i was traveling and then for this um, international conference to ghaziabad so my train had to reach early morning so again i was very alert that as soon as i come to know the about this alarm and then i instructed my body to get up so many means in, but 100% i am aware always i think uh, uh, i'm not sure that sometimes it is happening uh, means without awareness i am instructing it and i'm getting the sensation mm -hmm. but uh, whenever i think the priority is there but now i'm clear that okay uh, this is who this is me who is deciding when to give instruction and when to read the sensation right now also i am instructing that okay i am speaking even i tell my students also sometimes in the class by standing there that who is speaking so that uh, means even i am exploring I, i always tell them that okay my body is there uh, it's a tool but then uh, whenever the uh, right now also there may be sensations are happening in the body because the body is material and lot of physiochemical uh, reactions are there physiochemical effects are there but am i reading them right now now right now my my attention is towards uh, means i should i i'm sharing this and so I, my whole concentration is on speaking but then right now also i can realize that okay my my my, my feet are there and they are in touch with my my with the floor and then <laughs> the body is there and i am reading that sensation so again this shows that i am this is one i who decide so and to read these sensations and when to inst when the instructions have to pass so again this point says that i is at the center stage and then while reading the sensation yes again uh, if i am if i am aware of this then i even come to know that the fourth step that there is a difference in me and the body but then uh, sometimes uh, like few months back i had a pain in my my ear so when it it was very swear i am not sure that i was able to see that okay i am different from the body and i am not the sensation but then again this realization uh, of this that uh, uh, i am i am not the body 
so that made a little bit that sensation becomes a little bit uh, means in a way i could bear it more earlier i think the difference was this that when we are considering i am just the body then lot of means this uh, fear that something will happen to me and i will lose my maybe body or that kind of a fear i think has been reduced by this awareness uh, and then uh, so this fourth step is again uh, uh, always 100% i am aware that i am not the sensation but then sometimes uh, i am not aware then i start means even reacting and then fifth step is again i think i think the fifth step of uh, we all understand this also exercise 1 and exercise 2 they are all here also then the role of self comes and i think this is the most important uh, step because if i am able to see my sanskars then only i think uh, and the real improvement will happen but but for that i have to see as we say step by step my expectation thought feelings and then i will come to this sanskar and for that i have to be reached to the state of uh, pure observer but i'm not sure that i'm reaching to that stage but then as i am telling you that okay i'm still uh, uh, sometimes if i'm not aware uh then i am reading all these sensation or uh, or coming from outside with my old sanskar uh, then then i always means means react like uh like uh, if i have to go outside like for ghaziabad only i had to go then i was not clear that how much cold it will be there so then i was thinking that okay uh how much clothes warm clothes i have to wear so i could see that there is a sanskar that old sanskar that i will be affected by. if i will be means my body will get sick then what will happen so again the overthinking started but then i did the right evaluation then i came back to uh, means normal that okay i can evaluate that right now this is this is the, this much is the cold and i should not be worried about that and then same way same way that uh, the body i already discussed that if i am thinking i am body and then something happened to my body then old my sense cold sense scar of this that something will happen to me then I, then so i can see that sometimes sense scars are coming in my way uh, to read all these sensation and similarly uh, i i am giving the meaning uh, to somebody is saying something like day before yesterday when i came back then my elder brother was there to meet me and then he asked that did uh, can i can you show some photographs of your uh, conference and then i was now due to all this exploration i could not click any photograph there and and he was asking me again and again so i could see that uh, there is some disturbance in me so i am giving some meaning that why is he asking for the why is he doubting me or like that <laughs> so i i gave the meaning of that and then i reacted but the next moment i came to know that i have reacted because i have given the meaning he is just asking that okay can you show some photographs if you have been there so again the sensation is coming i am giving the meaning of other is just telling whatever his pre conditioning or whatever his point of view but then i start getting disturbed so then i could see that and then again i have told you that when i am doing overthinking and my body uh, some sens uh, sensations are there and uh, if i am not reading it properly and i am not correcting myself then it will come to my body also so that uh, sensation again i am giving the meaning it, it may become headache but the reason is what the reason is maybe that i have uh, not uh, taken the water properly or mostly i i think it is because of the overthinking so again uh, so i am uh, giving that uh, meaning to that again my sanskar comes and then 
uh, the pain in the body also i give the meaning and then i'm i i'm not able to see even why it's happening sometimes but then if i become aware then i then i can means uh, do it uh, the like no, the like the next step uh, if my so again i think the fifth six steps are happening together i have already told that if it is based on assumption uh, i read all these sensations i give the meaning whether it is coming from somebody uh, words and then even the physiochemical effect outside so if i am aware that i am there and the body is there the two are different entities then i think i will always respond uh but if it is not based on the understanding then i forget that uh, it's me who is giving the meaning and then my assumptions about trust and respect i i lose that awareness then i think again uh, i will react to the other people but right now i can see the difference that again i go to that that what i was and what i am but then this is a long journey we are all there for that to improve and and then if you come to the last step 7 i'm not sure that uh, the concept of space but then as information it is very clear and uh, even whenever i feel related to every unit uh, it is i think what is the base for that yes uh, i can see that okay i'm feeling related and then uh, means even uh, it's all what is the base means it's already there i'm and then i will always fulfill that relationship and but still uh, i'm able to see the co coexistence completely I, i'm i'm complementary to everyone i'm not sure every unit not but right now i think the more focus is on the human beings and the relationships so in that way seventh step is still i'm yeah, trying to explore uh so i want just want to tell here also that uh, that before this exercise 2 and exercise 1 and there used to be a lot of uh, body issues like headache i have already shared but more i got resolved within i could see my sanskars and then all these anxieties started going down so in that way my headache now is means again the body is getting better and uh, even with all this uh, uh, all this uh, about information about health how can i have health in the body sanyam and self regulation with that uh, these three first uh, um, uh, like intake a uh, physical work and uh, this daily routine has made my body leaner so i'm again from the body point of view also i'm getting more aware but this all is happening with the self awareness i think self is at the center stage then my body is also getting better in that way i will say that i'm more efficient from the body point of view also so this is my take away from exercise to whatever my understanding and then happiness is your innate nature i still remember as sunil bhaiya said when i started this journey of morning session this first slide ganesh sir was taking that morning session that happiness is your innate nature i could not understand for many days what is the meaning of this because always he used to start with this slide so even the happiness was not aware, i was not aware although i started teaching the course but then and i think the real journey we all can relate that morning sessions uh, made us to do the self exploration and then i think it gives us more confidence so and even i was not aware that this word in neatness 100% i am clear about it even now i am not sure that is why i am very regular in attending the morning sessions and not the effect from outside earlier the whole attention was outside only to make my body nice nice in every way and so i was trying to get happiness through sensation through the feelings so that too is very clear that earlier it was all from outside still 
uh, I'm trying to get happiness sometimes, like the food and all. There's sometimes some tasty food comes, then sometimes I feel that, okay, I should take it and I enjoy that sensation. And then still I uh, that feeling that somebody appreciates me. But, uh, but I can see that uh, that dependence is decreasing day by day. It's a journey. Uh, and so happiness is my innate nature. And then the program is again because, uh, because I'm getting more. Whenever I'm getting more um, self-aware, then I can see that happiness is within. Harmony is within. The dependence on outside is still there, but it is decreasing. When I am aware that harmony, if I want to get in continuity, and I can, we can see that also. We all are in that journey that it just gives a momentary happiness. So still it shows that the journey is uh, not complete. I'm not there still. I have to understand this coexistence and all that so that my harmony within uh, is clear that it is from within only. Then I think this dependence will become less. So so I'm, yeah, I'm trying. We are all trying these morning sessions. I'm attending again and again. And even this uh, 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 conference and all this, I have come to know that this participation is very important uh, by attending this conference. That So how much is program is focused on the self? So I could have this conference from home also, but then again, uh, I thought that this is an experience this is an opportunity where I can see that, okay, uh, whether my body is fit enough because there were sessions in the night also. So this was again then a, a determination or decision I made that, okay, I have to improve myself. My again, self, uh, how much it is competent to, first of all, uh, do all this, uh, participation and then the body also is, is, is competent enough to take all this. So this journey of, uh, but then again, I think self is at the focus. Then I decide, then I I instruct my body also to do that. So I, I, so I did it very nicely, but then I can see that uh, if, if you ask me the commitment, uh, about that, I can see that there are so many volunteers and even I could see there at AKGC that students are working so nicely and the teachers are there. And then even uh, while we were doing the rehearsals with Sharmila Didi for this mystic health uh, sessions, because I was one of the panelists for this holistic health, uh, hum uh, holistic human health session. So I could see that the more I will participate, um, then I got even Sharmila Didi and all kept on guiding that, okay, how you have to be focused and all that. So, I, so this become very clear that the more I will participate uh, outside as volunteer or I, then I, my improvement will become even better. Journey will become better. Right now at my college, I will see that a lot of commitment I'm working with because there are right now 1400 students in the first uh, semester or the second semester, they are studying in this semester only. And uh, and then I've got a team of 20 teachers um, this time. So it's a huge means, uh, I think, uh, uh, opportunity in my college also, like 1400 students, if I can get in touch with them. So there's a team of 20 teachers. So we are discussing in the form of proposals with them because team development is very important. Because the teacher is the key. So I find my commitment there also to prepare these teachers. And then even I, 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 I 1,400 students are there. So this course is making me to meet those 1,400 students. If I would have been teaching any other course, specialized course, I would not have met these all first year students. But this is a course common. And because I am in this journey, so I go to each and every class. And then I talk to them, even if, if I'm teaching them or not. And so I'm trying to uh bring attention of these young students because if the young students i feel their preconditionings are less and if they will get it nicely these proposals 
even in the conference also we discussed that then they will become and that was a purpose that i think that they they tomorrow they will become policy uh, makers and if they will raise these proposals in the early age and or whatever the courses uh, we are doing we're trying to introduce uhv or even holistic human health so if they will uh, get to these proposals and then they will like, start exploring and then i think we can go for that target of our human society so in that way college also i see lot of opportunity so even uh, i'm trying to have a fdp because that's very important i feel the teachers are prepared so there's a limitation of mine also my body also but then if you see the reason purpose so i'm trying to have fdp face to face in this december only yesterday also i discussed with my directors also that this conference happened and it's a huge conference everybody appreciated that you went there and uh, participated in that so and but then my commitment uh, after participating in this conference is that i have to increase my volunteering part because again for what purpose it will improve me means first of all the self development will happen and then only i will be able to do the team development so this clarity i think is there after attending this conference so i think that's it from my side i hope i have been honest in sharing and thank you to all the co explorers thank you all the mentors the whole coexistence i think the words can't express it because we all are on this journey a huge family i've got where i can share i can means we are all on the same platform we understand each other so much even in the conference i could see the zeal and all that this togetherness feeling of this so that's it from my side i think for time being i just stop till we meet next for the sharing thank you thank you all thank you so much sopanpriya for this detailed sharing so the effort which you have been taking for your personal transformation and to a certain end you express the efforts which you are taking for the societal transformation particularly in your institution those are very much inspirational for many of us and i can see that whenever i start this morning session or tarabasna paya any volunteer starts the morning session you are the first person to join may we may start by 5:15 or 5:20 so whenever we start you may be there even before that this commitment is very evident on your side and uh, your detail sharing is helping many of us for sure to uh, as you said to improve our own uh, part of volunteership and do much better or to become a much better version of ourselves in personal transformation as well as Uh, helping the society in which we are in for the society transformation so now i will be request global bhav bhaiya to give his comments and remarks regarding sopanji sharing global bhaiya over to you now namaste bhaiya namaste sab bhaiya namaste namaste global bhaiya namaste nice to hear you <laughs> so very elaborated sharing ram sapan ji and very detailed sharing and he answered each question very patiently he is tr trying to see these steps also and as we can see that sapan bhaiya is you know, the first person who join this morning session every day and i also can say that whenever i log in to so sapna bhai i found sapna bhai always there so it shows his dedication also and dedication and acceptance of process and clarity of goal if these three things are clear then definitely we can reach to a desired state where we all want to be so one point i want to add in bhaiya sharing 
uh, as Vijay said, that when he is sharing, his heartbeat is fast, etc. So, if you see, there are four types of fear. Fear of losing life, fear of losing post, fear of losing fame and recognition, and fear of losing wealth. So these four kind of fear lie inside us in very deep. And this fear of losing recognition or fame is one of those fears. Right. And this fear we can overcome if we are verifying the reality. So with the clarity of reality that my existence is always in coexistence with the space. So I always coexist with the space, whether other people recognize me or not recognize me. And I can live a fulfilling life by realizing this coexistence. So if I am clear about this coexistence in myself, then I become free of losing fear of this recognition. Right. Similarly, if I am aware of this existence reality, then we can see that all pranic order is destined to decompose. That's why my body will also decompose because it is the way of nature. Each pranic order is destined to be decomposed, to die. So we can be free of fear of this losing body. But this fear of uh, losing fame and recognition is very prominent in many of us. So as we uh, verify these proposals, as we know about ourselves, as we know our potential, then we can see that I am not dependent on others' recognition. My fulfilling life, I can ensure with this knowing of reality. So in this manner, I can be free from fear of recognition also, fear of losing fame also. And for that, we are doing this exercise one and two. So if you see this exercise one, with the, the help of exercise one, I can see myself at the state of your observer. At that state, I can ensure my fulfilling life without choosing any external environment, without getting recognition of external people. I can ensure this fulfilling life by myself. And with exercise two, I can see that my existence is not depends on body. I am existing in coexistence with this space. I have accepted body for time being and I may get disassociated from it by my decision. So this all kind of fear can be overcome with the knowing, knowing of reality. So knowing about myself, knowing about my potential, knowing about this all pervading reality and knowing about my coexistence. And exercise one and two is working on this. So as Bhaiya said that now people giving feedback that he is getting stable. So it will be a natural outcome. So as we will verify this reality, as we will move towards the state of realization, we will be stable with time. Because unstability comes with the lack of clarity of this existential realities. And exercise one and two is helping us to be clear about this existential reality. And as we get, uh, as we know more and more about the reality, this internal stability will be a natural outcome of this knowing. And that is what uh, 
bhaiya is doing in this process that's why na, he is getting stable day by day so this is all from my side thank you bhaiya thank you so much bhaiya for this again uh, making even clearer so uh, i will work on this we all will work on this very nice bhaiya thank you so much for your this insight insight uh, another point thank you yeah i will work on that namaste sabhi this way thank you gobal bhaiya for that uh, for those uh, comments and remarks regarding uh, sapan ji sharing so the sharing by sapan ji is very inspirational as many of us put on the chat box uh, working into uh, helping others helping oneself and helping others this into volunteering is very important that was the uh, gist which i take from sapan ji sharing and the comments by uh, gobal bhaiya is very much adding to that helping uh, enriching with that thank you so much so this is 